We're getting cocked over again. Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. Well, Life with Bilsif, I'm your host, Bilsif. How are you doing today? Today it's 7.12 a.m. and we're going to work. Bet you never thought of that, eh? Sun's out, as you can see in the mirror there. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It's already 40 Fahrenheit out. I went Fahrenheit today, just so everybody knows, so it's 40 Fahrenheit. But I got a little thing to tell you here. You guys wouldn't know this unless you actually make content on YouTube. But as of June, the government, American government, starting to take tax off, which is understandable, right? It's income. But the biggest thing that pisses me off is if it's an American viewer, they take 30% tax off in America. So basically, if you're a Canadian content creator like me, and 98% of your viewers are American, I get taxed twice. Well, not taxed twice, but I have to pay tax over here, and then I have to give them 30% tax. And guess what I'm making? Nothing. Thanks a lot, American government. They ain't just cocking us over. I could see if I was making millions of dollars and I was a huge channel, and that's understandable, but little guys, leave us a frig alone. There should be a threshold on that. 500 a month or more should be the threshold. I'm gonna get taxed until my dick turns purple, if you know what I'm saying. Leave me a comment down below, let me know what you think. I know it's, it's edge, you know, I know it's gonna happen no matter what. The government always wants their money. They're legalized gangsters. You know, there's no way of controlling it. So they're gonna get their money no matter what. I think it's kind of cocked over, if you ask me. I'm a Canadian citizen. Why am I getting taxed in America? What's really going on? America? I love you guys though, because most of you are my uh, main source of viewers. But tell your government he's cocked for me, would you? Just call him up and say, hey, dirty old Bills have said you're cocked right over. Captain, see what happens. Let me know down below if you did it for me. Let me know what they said. Maybe, maybe we're, we we might not get anywhere. Friggin' right. But I just wanted to tell you that because I thought it was pretty funny. I filled out my uh, American tax papers last night on the old computer because I don't leave those things. Eh? It just came out yesterday, but I, I'm all over it, Jim. So I just thought it was uh, kind of. A kick great right in the nutsack. Oh, I see a train. Freaking right I do. Oh, don't forget. Go over there and hit subscribe on that damn channel, would you? Help get to a thousand freaking subscribers. You don't have to watch, just subscribe. Get me over the thousand mark so I get now 50 cents because I have to pay 30% tax. Actually, wait a minute. Most people on my train channel are Canadian, so I won't get taxes hard. Ah, what the hell? It doesn't matter to me. Anyways, there you go. Get over there and subscribe for me. Why wouldn't you? But, on a brighter note, we're going to work, we are. It's gonna be a beautiful day. I might be able to do a windshield outside today. Can't wait till summer, boys. It's getting closer, girls, peoples. And we're all gonna last in the old sun -ruski. Look at it. There's more yellow in the air than ever. Well, wait a minute, I guess that's the sun, isn't it? But hey, still more yellow in the air than ever. Why wouldn't there be? But let me know below what you guys have been up to because uh, I haven't seen many uh, contests. Let me know what you're doing. I'd appreciate it. Why wouldn't I appreciate it? The old Silverado there, we got uh, some inner tie rod ends for her. So we're gonna have to put that on and we're gonna have to change that engine mount. And I gotta quit procrastinating about it because we gotta get her done before we pull the trailer because you can't pull the trailer with a broken engine mount. It just doesn't go so well. So we gotta get that friggin' done right pronto. Talk to a few people that don't even wanna do the inner tie rod ends for some reason. It's from all those friggin' potholes going to catch trains on the dirt roads is what it's from. Cocked over my inner tie rod ends. Plus, you know, it's a Chevy. Chevy's notorious for uh, shitty ass tie rod ends. Especially if you do a boosted four wheel drive launch. You just cock them right over. They're just garbage. Every vehicle has issues. They do. I almost bet you a box right now that there's gonna be a Ford F-150 pass me real soon here. You can tell by the way you come up with my ass there. I'll do the speed limit. I'm not gonna slow down just to make a pass me. I'm gonna drive what I normally drive, which is 90 and a freaking 80. So I'm already speeding, but you watch. I'm normally right, there you go, look. See, I'm doing 90, damn near, and then 80. So let's see, how long do you think it'll take him to pass me? He's got a clear spot right now, he's not taking it, but he's gonna, here he comes. I don't know why people don't give themselves more time in the morning. Like I got still 40 minutes to get to work and I'm only five minutes away. What's really going on, people? Give yourself more time in the morning, for sakes. Why wouldn't you? I would. Well, soon be time for the old ships. That will be opening up soon. All the ships will start to run. I'll be able to do some more videos on that. I can't wait to do some more videos on the ships. I like doing videos on the ships, I do. Freighters, Lake Freighters. Lake Freighters on YouTube, why wouldn't you? Go subscribe, put in the search. My link don't work. 
Well, I guess this guy's just gonna ride my butt all the way. That's fine too, because I don't care. Cap. Ah. So I got an MRI on my freaking leg for the old sciatic nerve, but until the 22nd of April. So I'm gonna be almost 48 before I get that done. So that should be interesting. It's getting a little better, it still hurts, but hey, it is what it is. I'm starting to get used to it now. You know you get a sore shoulder, or sore neck, or back, or kneecap, or whatever, and you start just to get used to the pain, then you really just work with it. That's what's happening with my leg. I just can't stand around like I used to. I can't stand on concrete, it hurts. I have to sit down. Some people would say it's a good thing because sure sign of maybe early retirement. Disability retirement, what do you think? I don't think it pays at all. I'd have to sell my trailer, I'd have to sell the house, I'd have to move the family into a friggin' double wide. Frank, I'd have to get rid of decent, I'd have to get rid of the van, we'd be able to do my LS build. But I could drive around all day doing videos, that'd be all right. Want stuff, do stuff. I don't know, couldn't be too bad, really. Might be. I've worked half my life away and paid taxes for half my life. I deserve to take some back, don't I? Nah, I'll keep working, it's better that way. So Buddy in the Ford ain't gonna pass me, he's just gonna ride my ass all the way into Sarnia, which is fine. It is what it is, it is. But we're almost to work here, so we're gonna go to work today. We're gonna see what's going on, and this and that and the other freaking thing. Like I said, leave your comments down below, I wanna know what you've been up to. I'd always appreciate you guys letting me know what's going on. Cause I care about you, wouldn't I? But don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notification. And until next time, love you all, and you know what to do for now.